Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Apologia's Who is God? So I have the textbook, I have the student notebook, and I have the junior student notebook. So I'm going to be able to give you a look inside of all those components. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, stick around. So we are using Apologia's Who is God this year, and I thought I would give you a look inside the textbook, and then I have the junior notebook, and I have the regular notebook. So I'm going to give you a quick flip through inside and let you know how it's been going for the two days that we've been doing it so far. All right, so here we go. Here are the lessons we have. Where am I building my life? How can I know what's true? What is God like? Part one. What is God like? Part two. Who are the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? God created the world. Why isn't it perfect? Why did God create me? Will God meet all my needs? Why does sin keep me from knowing God? Is Jesus the only way to God? So those are the main ideas. And I would say that covers pretty basic biblical knowledge and knowledge of God. But I do feel like it's going to go deeper than what my kids know at this point. So we have here how to use this book. It talks about notebooking, the lesson structure, so what you can expect in each lesson. So they have all these different points. And a lesson plan. Now, if you purchase the notebooks, one of the benefits of purchasing the notebooks is you will get a lesson checklist. So let me show you what those look like. So I have the junior and I have the regular, and I'm just checking off as we go. We've done two lessons so far. And so here it will tell you each day what to read and then what to do in the journal. This is for the junior notebook, and then this is for the regular notebook. So overall, there are, I believe it is, so 54 total lessons if you did it the way that they suggest in the notebooking books. But if you don't want to do that, they do tell you how to line it up yourself here. But this is really nice to have, so you have the page numbers and everything there. All right, so it talks about why you should teach worldview, course website, and then if you need help. So here is what a lesson looks like. So we've just done the first bit of this. Where am I building my life? We have a verse. We have a verse that we're focused on, and it talks about laying a foundation and architects and how important architects are and how important it is where you build. You build the building that the architect gave you that you should build it on solid ground. Here is a story about an architect and his son and his friend and having conversations about building the house. One person built it on a sandy hill and against the architect's suggestions and the house is crumbling. And then another person who built the house that, with the plans of the architect on a solid rock and how that turned out. And then we talk about the Great Pyramid of Pisa and how it's built on a solid rock and it's one of the only wonders of the world left standing. The parable of the wise and foolish builders. We have some definitions here. And then we have the verse that we are studying. And then we haven't gotten this far yet, but here are seven ways to build on the rock, study and learn the Bible, know truth, think truth, and follow truth, care for your body and use it in the right way, worship God faithfully and joyfully, pray to God always, stand against Satan and resist him, put God first, not things or money, and then make a note of it in a prayer. And then we have these fun things here, some illusions talking about how things can look different to different people. And there you go. That is the end of lesson one. So, for example, on what a lesson looks like for the day, I always like to know that for myself before I buy something. I wanna know how long is this lesson going to be? I'm gonna say it's taken us about 20 to 25 minutes. I would prefer if it were in the 15 minute, 15 minute range, that's sort of our we like to have shorter lessons, but so far it's been manageable and it is the beginning of the year and my kids usually build up a tolerance for listening longer as we go through the year. So our first day we read this, 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 and this story here. So that was about six pages there. And this is what my kids did in the book. 
So here is the regular notebook. And there's the lesson plans. Let's see. So they have these discussion questions after I read the stories. We just talked about it. I don't need my kids to write all that out. And then they were supposed to draw themselves standing on the sand and talk about what kind of storms might come in their lives and what will happen if you don't build your life on the rock that is God and his word. And then, so that was day one. And this is what my boys did. For day one, they had a picture to color here, which they didn't. We added a few lines and the same activity there. And then day two, we read this and this. So it was a little bit shorter. The reading was a little bit shorter, just two pages there. And in the junior notebook, they had a fill in the blank here with these words. So very simple. And there was copy work. Who is, and it looks like he missed the, who is the rock except our God? Second Samuel 22, 32. So that was the junior notebook. So pretty simple little pages. And then for the regular notebook, we had a crossword puzzle that they could do. We have copy work. And, oh, I skipped something. And here they had words, words to know. So they copied these definitions in here too. So just a little bit extra for those older kids. All right, so I'm going to quickly flip through a few pages here just so you can get a maybe better idea of what the rest of this book looks like. So it looks like they start with a story most times, and more about illusions, make a note of it. All right, so, and then just application, a prayer, things like that. So I have never used Apologia anything before. I've always been a little bit nervous about it because I feel like it tends to be, I know a lot of um, people use it even in the Charlotte Mason realms, but I mean, it is still, it is still a textbook. So I'm curious to see how this will go and we'll see if we can handle a tiny bit of textbooky stuff. But so far, the two lessons that we've done have been fine. Yeah. So it was a little bit longer on that first day because we are not used to, I'm not used to reading that much again. We get into the summer and I don't read as much and they're not used to listening as long. And so it's a little harder at the beginning. But yeah, so that is, that is what it looks like. It seems like the lessons are very structured as far as they follow the same format. And let's take a look a little bit more of the normal or the normal just the regular notebook. Let's take a look at the activities. So we have copy work, probably more drawing and writing, my prayer, a praise report, I spy, fish in the bowl, do you remember? Probably do that more discussion style. And then ways you can find out more, there's suggestions. And then the next lesson, more questions about the story, words to know, copy work, I can't believe it wasn't true. You can't believe everything you see. True, false, somewhere in the middle. So you get to read these things and find, decide if it's true or false. That's kind of cool. Crossword puzzle. And making a mini book. All right, so that's interesting. I would say we probably won't use everything here, but we'll pick and choose and we'll do it how we, how we want. So that is the regular notebook. And then for the junior notebook, all right, so we have a crossword puzzle, mini book, more coloring, we have copy work. I'm not sure if this is all part of a mini book or not. More coloring, suggested reading, fill in the blank. We have the same thing here, true, false. It's a little shorter, just one page instead of two. And we have crossword puzzles. So there you go. I hope that helps. Before I get into this, I will leave a link in the description box below if you would like to check out Who Is God or any other Apologia products. I'm an affiliate, so if you purchase using this link, you will be supporting my channel. So I hope that gave you a good idea of what it would be like to do Apologia's Who Is God. If you like videos like this, please do give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
I am going to be doing quite a few flip throughs and some reviews in the upcoming weeks. So please stick around if that's something you're interested in seeing. Thanks for coming today and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.